Hello viewers, welcome to this video on circles, codes and tangents. Um, I want to take you through several aspects of um, circles and also take you through codes and those tangents. Uh, so we may begin by defining what a circle is. Actually, I know uh, it is quite natural that people know how to work with circles, but maybe they don't know what they are. Not everybody knows uh, the definition of a circle. So, um, a circle, a circle is um, is a plane curve. Eh? Is a plane. Is a plane curve generated. It's a plane curve generated by a point moving at a constant distance from a fixed point. Eh? Actually, you can look at it as a locus of points. Eh? So, this is our circle here. And you can see that any point you pick on this orientation, it's to some distance from a fixed point here. You can call it D. So, actually, can be seen as a locus of points such that uh, a point moves in such a way that it makes a constant distance from a fixed point. Right? So, that is what we call a circle. And uh, more often than not, these are some of the areas that we pick in circles. We look at uh, the area of a circle, which is given by pi r squared, circumference of that circle, again, given by pi d. And and maybe to, to illustrate, we have pi is usually the ratio of circumference to its diameter. Okay, So that is why it is important you understand such scenarios. When it comes to locus, I will do a comprehensive uh, video on that so that at least we understand some some concepts surrounding the, the circle, right? So let us look at chords. Now, chords may intersect internally. By the way, before I go there, what is a chord? Definition is also very important. A chord is a line uh, drawn joining any two points drawn joining any two points um, on the circumference of the circle circumference of a circle okay so if you if you have um, your circle any line drawn touching any two points on the circumference we call that one a chord. So this is a chord. Line AB is a chord because it has been drawn touching this point and this point and the two points are on the circumference of a circle. Now we may look at uh, several aspects of chords. Chords may intersect. Actually you may draw another chord so that the chord can intersect internally. That's what we call internal intersection of chords. Eh? When chords intersect internally, uh, you may be asked to determine um, the length of an unknown uh, part. For example, let's say you are given A, the intersect at a point X here, you are given AX is 2, then you are given X, um, X B is 6, and you are given uh, CD is 4. So what is this one? That is XD. Actually, there is a formula that we use. If chords intersect internally, then we say that AX times XB is equals to CX times XD, right? So that's the formula that we use. So we have AX equal to 2, and then XB equals to 6, then CX equals to 4, but we don't know XD, okay? So XD... It goes without saying that it's a 3, right? Because this is 12 equals to 4xd by 4 by 4 both sides, you have a 3. So you can see that with this formula, you can determine any unknown, provided that you know the formula is axxb equals to cx times xd, 
right? So that is for chords intersecting internally. What happens when chords intersect externally? What happens when chords intersect um, intersect externally? So we have a formula for that, actually. Chords intersecting externally. So when chords intersect externally, um, you may see a situation like that. And let me call this one A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. So a situation like this can be viewed as when you want to determine any of the of the unknowns, you can use this relationship first. We have AC times BC is equals to EC times DC, right? That is a very important relationship which you can use. Huh? So let's say uh, you're given uh, a situation like X here, and we have, uh, this is a four, this is a 10, and this is a 7. So what is the value of x in that situation? So using this formula, it goes without saying that x plus 4, that is the whole length, that is ac, times 4, is equals to 7 plus 10. That is the whole length ec times dc, which is a 10, right? So you have 4x uh, plus 16 is equals to 17 times 10, right? So 4x plus 16 is equals to 170 so 4x is equals to 170 minus 16 4x is equals to 154 so x is equals to 154 divided by 4 which is um, 154 divided by 4 you have that 8.5 so that's what you do Okay, we're almost uh, culminating this. I want to teach you about chords um, and uh, tangents. So this situation, again, can be perceived like this. If you have, let's say this is a circle. And then you have a line drawn such that it touches the circle once. So this is what we call a tangent to the circle because it is a line drawn touching a circle at one point all right so if you draw a chord that's why I was saying I want to show you the behavior of a chord versus a tangent if you draw a chord the angle that this one this chord makes with the tangent is the same angle subtended by the same chord at the circumference this angle here so this angle theta is the same as this angle up here because an angle formed between a tangent and a chord is the same angle subtended by the same chord at the circumference of a circle so does to this other one here if this is alpha also this one is alpha very interesting now, let's look at one situation which is uh, very important for us here. You can have your circle and then uh, you have a tangent. You have a tangent, the circle, at this point here. That point here. And then you also have a chord that moves in, in such a way that it emits this uh, this uh, tangent at a point outside x. So if you have a, b, x, and let's say uh, c, this is at the point of tangency at point c, then 
it goes without saying that cx squared is equals to ax times bx, right? That's another relationship which you can use. So let's say you're given this length. You don't have this part from here to here, but from here to here, you already know. So it, using this formula, you can determine what you don't have, right? So um, with that, I think we'll stop there. Then in our next lesson, we look at a few examples concerning the same. Thank you.